Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be short and sweet. I am packing for quarantine. So we are going back into our RV full time until coronavirus passes and I am packing up my classroom and I wanted to show you guys what I decided to bring with me. So this is going to be very fast because mama needs to go to sleep. <laughs> So here is what I'm bringing. This is my whiteboard that I usually have hanging on the wall. It has my most used stuff on it. It also has my call name, which if you don't teach your VIP kid when you sign up, even if you go by teacher, whatever. So I go by teacher Katie, but they give you a call name. So this is how parents find you. So I always have it up behind me. And it was a really good one. They only had four different food magnets at the dollar store. And when I was doing my mock class it was cold outside so i made a hot chocolate to go with it so i wanted to bring that just in case my wi-fi doesn't work well enough to do my digital rewards which is how i always do them um, i use my color wheel for my lower level students all the time and uh, this is my name tag for any new student i have this little s down here for one of my regulars because he has been working on remembering to use his s's so if he forgets, I just hold this up to the camera and say, uh oh. So he knows what it means. <laughs> anyway, this is a clipboard. It just has my feedback form that I made, which I will be posting to Teachers Pay Teachers if you are interested in using this. I love having this. I actually made a couple different versions. I think I'm going to um, switch the version that I use, but this is what I'm using for now. So I put their name, lesson. Uh, things they did awesome so I can mention it in the feedback and things they need to practice because parents like to see stuff Concrete things that they can practice. I put a little check mark so I know if I finish their feedback or not So I'll be bringing this clipboard with me um, There's just some notes I have on the back of a uh, This is what the Assessment levels look like but it's laminated so I just use that as a whiteboard now. I have some magnets I'm going to bring they're just all stuck together right now in this bin. I have my like Not props, but just my like supplies my tools. So I Use all digital props, but just in case things don't work. These are really handy for new vocabulary words or anything I have a stapler I have some Velcro, I have some painter's tape, I have some lights, I have magnets and like sticky stuff. I have my headphones are in here. My keyboard is in here. I need to grab my mouse. Uh, this is my USB extender and this is all these are all like pens and highlighters. These are all erasable, which I freaking love. So that's it for my tools. Oh, under my clipboard, I have my little stand for my computer, but I don't really know where I'm teaching it. So I don't know if I'll need that. And this is my bin of props and I'm just gonna go through it super fast with you. This is not all of my props. This is just what I decided to bring. It's the stuff that I use the most and actually I just used what was like out. <laughs> I have quite a few animals so I'll pull those out last. So I have this fun microphone. It has a spring in it like when you were a kid. A guitar. There's a song at the beginning of almost every lesson so I either use one of I use one of those. Basketball I use. Soccer ball. There are lots of lessons about playing games and basketball specifically and soccer specifically. There's also a lot of ping pong references, but I don't have ping pong stuff, so we're just going to go with that. Um, this is my puppet, and actually I got to use it for the first time last night. My One of my students said his favorite animal is a dinosaur, so I got to use it. The reason I haven't used it is because I actually got feedback in my intro video uh, when I used this that it was going to be too scary for kids so I have not used it because I don't want to scare anyone but my kid last night absolutely loved it he named it Steven after himself and so this is Steven the dinosaur nice to meet you uh, <laughs> I have colors and shapes uh, flashcards I have first words flashcards Again, I don't use these super often because I use digital. If I need them, I have them. I have an earth. I love this because I can show them, you know, 
here is China. This is where you live. And then, whoa, spin and spin and spin. Wow, here is where I live. And they love seeing the difference. So um, that's pretty cool. I use that all the time. I can also use it for a ball if the soccer ball or basketball have run away from me, which they tend to do. One of the things you say all the time is, what do you see? And if they're little and they don't know what you're talking about, it is amazing to have a magnifying glass. I am talking so fast because I am so ready for bed. Sorry. I have a baby, which is good for a lot of the lessons, but also there are AR stickers in the, in the classroom itself, but it has to recognize a face. So you can put them on the student, you can put them on yourself, but they think it is so hysterical if you hold the baby up to the camera and it puts an AR sticker on the baby. So I use it for the lessons, but also for that, for the older kids. Uh, I think we are down to just my animals. So I have a horse, a snake, a lion, a polar bear, a zebra, a hippo, a gorilla, and a regular, not polar bear. Honestly, these are just the ones that I found at the dollar store. I'd love to have some more domestic animals because I do have a lot of lessons that talk about um, chickens and cows and ducks, uh, dogs, cats, etc. I just picked out ones from the dollar store. I mentioned before that pretty much all my props are from the Dollar Tree, so that is the most money spent is this little bin right here. So much money. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, this actually is from Walmart. I lied. I think this was like two bucks from Walmart. So next I am bringing my whiteboard and then this is my backdrop. I love how easily this folded down. It is literally just like made out of flag material. So, or like ta like shiny tapestry. I don't know what it's called, but I'm just gonna throw it right in there. I'm gonna hang it up wherever I'm at behind me. Um, I actually should probably grab some binder clips for that. Um, but I also have magnets and Velcro and you saw all the other crap, so. <laughs> um, mm -mm. This is my last pile of stuff. You guys, when I was going through everything, I found these baby wipes. If you're watching this and you went through <laughs> the coronavirus panic that everyone went through, or you were a victim of someone else's panic and couldn't find toilet paper or baby wipes or diapers, this is like a magnificent find. I found three packs of these hidden in Bennett's room. See, mama's always thinking. Okay. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. These I have actually never used, but I'm going to bring them all because let me tell you why. I am still pretty nervous about my digital stuff not working. I do everything digital, reward, prop, everything. I still use this stuff pretty often in my lessons because you want different, uh, different types of props. But this is a reward system that I think my older kids would love. I would just like hang this up behind me and, you know, throw the ball at it and see how many points they get. I got that at the dollar store. Uh, these are really good for the littles. They love to get a trophy and then they can count them with you. Uh, this I thought would be fun just to like write their name on or draw a picture on or something. I don't know what I would use that for yet, but maybe vocabulary words. And then these little guys are a perfect reward for almost any of them because they're like silly and goofy looking and ah, they light up. How fun is that? Surprise, you get a star. So yeah, those are pretty good. But yeah, you guys, that's it. That's all I'm gonna take with me. I, <laughs> I keep thinking of other things, but um, one other thing that I do have in there that I just didn't pull out is my ring light. Um, I just have like a little one that's supposed to clip onto your cell phone. I just clip it onto the side of my computer. Uh, I'll probably bring some thumbtacks. I think that's it. I don't really use that much. This is way more than I probably need to bring. I just want to say that. This is way more than I need to bring. But I'm gonna bring it and I'm gonna have everything that I need and I'm not gonna have to worry that I left something behind that I need. That's all she wrote. I hope you enjoyed this quick video where I spoke a million miles a minute and showed you everything that I'm going to take into our 
social distancing experiment of being in the middle of nowhere around no one. I hope you are staying safe and washing your hands and staying away from people. I will see you next time. Bye.